All right, everyone. I just took a shower. It is washing day for me because you all saw my hair and what it looked like before and that's just not gonna fly today. I'm currently blind, can't see you, so I'm gonna put contacts in so we can actually talk and I, I feel like right now I'm not even looking at the camera properly. I don't even know what I look like. So let me put contacts in. I wear monthly contacts if anyone's wondering, so that's why I use this one with the hydrogen peroxide solution because it does give them a good clean and um, won't give you any in eye infections, which is, you know, always a plus here. I use this guy, BioTrue, to like rinse them because you can't use the other one because that one will burn my eye. And uh, not really what we're trying to do today. Okay, don't mind me. Gotta rinse this baby up too. I always like rinsing them after because even though the solution has neutralized, I feel like sometimes it still like burns my eyes. So I like to rinse them before I put them in. Okay. Ooh. Some fun stuff here. I already moisturized my body. These things have honestly changed my life. I need a new one because this one has like, I don't know what it has all over it, but I need a new one. But honestly, it has changed my life. My hair washing days. First things first, I'm the realist. <laughs> it's a curly hair washing day. I'm not straining it. I'm trying to give my my um, my hair a little bit of a break right now since we're on lockdown there's really no reason for me to be straightening my hair so i've been trying to wear curly second week of not applying any heat to my hair well not any heat because i do diffuse it but like you know what i mean so um i use this guy as my leave-in conditioner i quite really i quite like it it's thick it's good does me well it's the shameless shame <laughs> It's this guy, I can't read, so there you go. Um, this one's the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Strength, st I can't read. <laughs> Strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner with shea butter, peppermint, and keratin. So, as you can tell, I quite like it. I'm like halfway done. I got this in the summer, so. Okay, so I grab that much. Kinda do this and just put it with curly hair. You gotta understand that your hair is always thirsty. Like it really curly hair just, and I have really thick hair too, and I've got lots of it, and I feel like my hair is just always looking for moisture. So if you have longer hair, you would honestly put more in. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more in, just cause I don't wanna put too much in, but since I'm not straining it, I do like to, uh, and we're doing like a full curly hair routine today, we do need this to be quite moisturized. I tend to uh, start on my ends and just focusing it on the ends and then run it through the rest of my hair. So most of the product goes on the ends. Best way to do it, I think. Honestly, I've had curly hair for 29 years. I'm 29 years old and I have yet to figure out my curly hair routine. If you have curly hair and you have amazing products that work for you, it would be great if you could send them my way. Cause right now, I have like a few products that I like, but I have yet to master my curly hair. It's taken 29 years. It's a very long time. The next things that I'm using right now, what am I using? I'm using the Deva Curl Styling Cream for definition and control. Um, I think a bit of oil. I don't remember what kind of oil this is. I put it here when I was traveling. Obviously, before I go back to like the big jar, I like to finish this. This is just like, I think, argan oil, I want to say honestly don't quote me on it and then we have the light defining gel soft hold no crunch styler for defining control i used this before i diffuse it but right now i'm just gonna add a little bit of just a tiny bit of oil just a little bit to just really seal in some moisture before i grab my handy dandy white tooth comb and start brushing it out every time i wash my hair I use a mask in it because my curls get crazy and it gets really dry and it becomes a big mess and there's big knots. So I just like using a mask to help me sort through my hair, get all those knots out, get some moisture back in. I always brush it with a white tooth comb just because I feel like that 
I really want to get them one of those Denman br brushes. Denman brushes? I think that's what they're called. My mom has one and every time I'm like over visit my parents I use it and I'm obsessed with it but I like don't know if I'm ready to spend $50 on a hairbrush just yet. Okay now I'm gonna go in with, no not this guy, the styling cream from Deva Curl. So this is a uh, just like a cream I'll show you. This is probably the best way to do it. See? It's like a cream. Just grab some of that. I'm just gonna put that and then I just kind of comb it through my hair with my fingers. Just kind of like do that. Again, get most of the product through the ends and the middle part and then just whatever's left over on my hands through my bangs because I do have bangs and like through the front pieces here. Okay. Now next step is I'm not quite ready yet to diffuse my hair. There's so much hair everywhere right now. So I'm just going to take whatever's left of that product. I'm going to grab my handy dandy little clip and I'm just going to pin it up until I'm ready to put the gel in and diffuse it. Uh, what I am going to do is I still have some of that cream on my hands. So we're just going to grab my bangs here and just kind of like finger I'll troll them for a little bit. Okay, this freaking curl here I can just buy curl. My curls look really loose right now, but obviously as they dry up, they get a little more tight. So this is just a good way of like keeping them in shape. And as I said, I'm just using whatever leftover product I had in my hands. Oh, this is a nice little curl. Look at that. That's cute. Okay, we're just gonna like make it not look crazy. This guy here is not looking the best, so we're just gonna grabbing it and just twisting it. If anyone watches this as curly hair, give me your tips, because honestly, sometimes my hair turns out so great, and then other times I'm like, oh, not the best. Not the best, ladies and gentlemen. Curly hair, done. Okay, I wanted to show you my favorite apps well this is one of my favorites i have used the peter thomas roth enzyme peel for the longest time i know it's not cruelty free but i couldn't find a dupe for it it's my favorite exfoliant i don't like physical exfoliants but i do like the fact that that one it's technically a physical exfoliant but not really because it's like if you've ever used it you know it's like a gel and you put it on your skin and then all like you kind of rub it in and all your dead skin cells just like pop up this wishful one by huda beauty i want to say yeah by huda beauty uh, it's cheaper than the other one it's cruelty free and uh, reviews are pretty good so i've been using this one instead because i wanted to save a little money and to be honest i can't complain so it comes out like that oh yeah i should show you this oh focus bitch come on um comes out like that but then the coolest part about it is I might use it on my entire face and my lips. Do you see all that dead skin on me? Oh, I'm just gonna rinse it now. This one's a little different than the Peter Thomas Roth. Um, and this one has BHA and AHAs in it too to help like really get into your pores. The cool thing about it is because you're washing it off and as it's scrub, it's not gonna affect any skincare that you put on after because it's not staying on your skin. But every time you use it, those AHA and BHAs do get deeper into the skin to help you exfoliate under the surface. But I mean, my skin feels so, my skin feels so soft after like I use that. Oh, my skin's very, very puffy today. I'm honestly not a big fan, so what I'm going to do before I do anything is I'm going to take my little rollers here. So I've scrubbed my face, but I'm going to take my little rollers because your girl feels so puffy. And we're just going to massage. These are like, I don't know if you can hear the vibration. They're vibrating. I don't know, it's supposed to help. So we're using this one on the chin because I feel like I don't have a jawline right now. <laughs> the sodium intake is real. Also, yes, I pin my bags to the my bags, my bangs to the side. 
just because I was like cleaning my face. I hadn't plugged my eyebrows in like four days and uh, I have a lot of hair. I'm a hairy human and my eyebrows just gross. There's lots of strays. I actually haven't gotten my eyebrows done in a really long time. And I was looking at old pictures from like the summer and stuff and like my eyebrows were so thin. They're a lot thicker now because I've just let them grow out. Which I'm, you know what? I'm kind of into. I'm going to show you my trick as to how I do my eyebrows now that I really, really, really love. Because they stay in place all day. They look nice. They look almost like laminated. It's really nice. I'm just going to do this ten times on each side. Do it on this one. Nine, ten. Now we're gonna do down my freaking jawline because I feel like I have a double chin. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna do my forehead in the middle. I can turn this one off. I like using this one because it's smaller for my actual face and I have a smally, small face. So we're just gonna grab this. Just move up ten times. Nine, ten. And then we're gonna do the side one. Two, three. Usually I don't do it on a dry face, but I don't want to waste my product today. So, because it's COVID and your girl doesn't want to buy things, we should be trying to save money here. So, okay, we're gonna do this one. One, two. Don't do it on dry skin. Usually I have to apply a toner and then do it. I honestly just forgot. I haven't done this in a while. Ten. I don't know, I feel like I look less puffy now. It helped a little bit, so, you know. Usually I would do that for at least like 20 minutes, you know, just really getting in there, but today I don't have the time. We're gonna use my hydrating essence from e.l.f., which I actually really enjoy. For e.l.f. makes some good ass products, honestly. For the price, they're not bad, to be completely honest. Now all the hydrating essence, don't forget your neck and your chest, so I just put it on all over my chest. Hopefully I didn't freaking give you a nip slip there. And if I did, hope you enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to apply our hyaluronic acid. The one I'm using right now is from Glossier, the Super Bounce. Not my favorite, not the worst. Down your neck, don't forget, and your chest. Now as you notice, I do have like some hyperpigmentation here from this pimple that I had um so I'm trying to get that rid of that and then I also had another pimple I don't know if you can see right there it's now flat I had a pimple patch over it but I popped it but we're just gonna use vitamins and vitamin c and niacinamide to help fix the hyperpigmentation if you have darker skin any girl that has or any any girl anyone who has a like tan like my skin tone or darker you guys know we suffer from hyperpigmentation so anytime you get a breakout it's just so annoying so i do use vitamin c in, during the day every day to not only help the hyperpigmentation but to help off to help fight off free radicals and pollution it's really good for your skin to use uh vitamin c but as I always say, you should be wearing SPF every single day, uh, especially if you're using vitamin C. Vitamin C is an acid, and so you need, the, you, you need that to protect your skin because it becomes more hypersensitive to UV and UVA rays. So you want to keep that in check because otherwise, if you are using vitamin C in the morning and you're not putting on SPF, it's actually going to have the opposite effect and it's going to give you more sunspots. So just remember. Now niacinamide is amazing with vitamin C. Honestly, I knew how it worked. It's on a molecular level, but honestly, I can't remember how it works. I just know that vitamin C and niacinamide work, really work well together. They help each other out. So we just, we do that. Next things we're gonna do is we're gonna do our, uh, we're gonna use this Biosan Squalane Peptide Eye Gel for our icicles. Now, when you're putting on ice cream, just remember to put it on your orbital bone. You don't want it to clo too close into your eye. That's not, it's not going to do much. Orbital bone is key. Okay, we're done that. We're going to just add a little spritz of this hydrating coconut mist by e.l.f. It's really good. I love that. I'm trying to figure out what I want to use. I think what I'm going to do... 
do love Walita and I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. They're both quite rich, but they'll work really well under makeup since I am going to put on makeup today. But before I do that, I'm going to use the Believe True Cream Aqua Balm. I got it from PR, but honestly, it's not my favorite. Like, I feel like I would really like this in the summer. And the winter is just not thick enough for my skin. Not moisturizing enough. But again, I'm trying to use up everything I have before I buy new products. So I like using this as a light layer on that uh, on damp skin just to... Get some more moisture back in. I like following it up with some thicker. Uh, today, I think I'm gonna use the magic cream. Let's do it. I feel like it. I think today calls for the magic cream. I think like that's the mood that we're in today. We're gonna put makeup on, we're going all out. I'm using my tweezers here. and just applying a few dots on the skin, on my neck as well. Don't want to ignore the neck. I'm gonna kind of blend that through, kind of take some of it on my hands, warm up the product. I usually would warm up the product first in my hand and then apply it, but I just didn't feel like getting my hands too dirty today. I'm just gonna massage that into my neck and my chest. I'm just gonna let the Charlotte Tilbury sink in for a second. I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Brush my teeth means my lips are dry. I've been using the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I really, really enjoy it. I hate the packaging though. Hate it. I feel like it wastes so much product. Oh, so nice. So thick. And this is honestly my go-to right now. The Laneige Sleeping Mask, I like it too, but I feel like it wasn't working. We're gonna put on some SPF. I'm using today. I'm using the Super Good Play Everyday Lotion SPF 50. One of my favorites. I have lots of sunscreens. It really depends the mood that I'm in for the day. Okay, I start with wet base layer, and then I kind of just dot it on the skin, apply it, and just kind of work it in. I like going by sections because it makes me get into the little crevices and really work up, work that product in. We're gonna grab a little bit more. I'm gonna do this on my hands. I'm gonna do it right here all over my eye. On the little crevices again that we don't really get. We're just gonna put that. And whatever's left over, I'm putting on my ear holes. Oh, okay. And then whatever's left over, just on my hands. We don't waste sunscreen in this household. Now we're gonna let this sink in for a bit. I'm gonna apply some deodorant. I'm using this one. Just cause I don't wanna be stinky. Just give it a shake, I gotta shake it. It's re actually really good and it wasn't very expensive. I find like, I'm still on a journey trying to find my favorite deodorant. It's hard, it's hard work. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sink in. I'm gonna put some clothes on and we'll be back. Okay. I've gotten dressed. I feel like I have no motivation to put on clothes because we're in lockdown. I haven't had to like really try for a really long time. So I feel like even though I have lots and lots of clothing, um, <laughs> I have lots, I feel like I have nothing to wear. That's a problem in itself. I put on some hoops to make myself feel a little bit more, you know, put together. And now let's start this freaking makeup. Actually, I forgot two things. I'll be right back. I was gonna not film this, but I feel like this is real life, so let's film it. I have my little Morphe sponge, which I'm gonna actually wash. I use the Dr. Bronner's pretty much for everything. This is what I use to in the shower. This is what I use to clean my brushes. Like that's why I buy the big one. I just feel like the Dr. Bronner really just gets Dr. Bronner's really works. It gets all that gross stuff. And I feel like I'm not putting anything that's bad for me on my baby sponge that's about to go on my face. I don't know, I go back and forth between using like my fingers to apply foundation or makeup, to using a beauty blender, to using different things. But I'm going to put on a little bit of primer first, then do my eyebrows. I 
think that's what I want to do. Actually, let's do our eyebrows before we put on primer. So, my current brow routine includes the Glossier Brow Flick in Brown, the Got To Be Spiking Glue, and two little spoolies. I figured since we're here, I'd show you how I do them. So we're gonna grab some of the spiking glue on the back of my hand. I'm just grabbing a little bit of it on a spoolie and we're gonna go brush our brows up. I literally just brush them up like that. And then I have a clean spoolie as well. So we're gonna do it with the same one. We're gonna brush this one up too. The reason I like doing it before I put on any makeup is that I you don't want any makeup to get stuck in your eyebrows. You know when you do like your face routine and then all that foundation stuff gets stuck in your eyebrows? It's easier to do it when there's nothing on your brows. Give this a rinse real quick. Dry it up a little. It's dry, so I'm going to th brush through it again. You only really need a little bit. Like I still have so much product left, but you're like combing it through like that. And then going up top and just cleaning it up. So again, I'm brushing upwards like this. And then I just kind of go up and do it like that. Now we have a clean spoolie, the one that we have not used, and our glossy boy, uh, what is this gloss, glossy brow flick? And I'm gonna go in and just start flicking. I use like magnifying mirror here, and then I'm just gonna like literally just flick through it. It's, it's probably easier if I do this. I'm just gonna do. Uh, actually, just I want to wait till the glue is dried up. So I'm just gonna, actually gonna wait a little longer. What we can do in the meantime is grabbing a Q-tip and I'm just cleaning around the brow. Just if I got any glue and stuff, I don't want it on my skin. That's gross. I think it's dry. Let's flick. If you have any recommendations for a, a brow pen, I like the Glossier Brow Flick, but I feel like it's in, it's not very consistent for me. Just like it's not, sometimes I feel like I'm not getting any product out of this. It's just not the best. Or maybe I'm using it wrong. If someone has any tips on how to use this brow flick, that would be great. I've been told to keep it stored like this and that's so it doesn't dry out and that's what I do and I still find that it dries out, so. I grab the clean one and I just kind of brush up what I've ever done just to make it look a little bit more natural. If there's pigment stuck anywhere, I like doing that. Okay, I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'll show you the finished product after. Brows are pretty much done. They do look a bit harsh because I have no other makeup on my face and obviously they're quite filled. And again, they're sisters, not twins here. They look pretty good to me, I think. They're obviously not even, but I, it's, again, I haven't got my eyebrows done in a really long time, so I feel like this one is a bit thicker than this one, but like, hey, sisters, not twins, we're trying our best here. I never claim to be a brow artist or a makeup artist. I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl in the world. <laughs> Anyways, uh, eyebrows are pretty much done. See, using that spiking glue, I don't have to use brow gel or anything on top of it my eyebrows just stay it's great i don't have to deal with it anyways we're gonna use some primer we're gonna use it's winter we need something that's hydrating that really grippy that will make our makeup last quite a bit so i'm gonna use the milk hydro what's it called hydro grip primer it's water-based and i am using a water-based foundation so that's why if i was using an oil-based foundation i wouldn't use this because this is water-based and it's going to repel but water and water stick together so this is good apply it to our skin careful with the eyebrows Just careful because they've already been done now with this primer you do have to apply it and then just give it like a minute for it to like get sticky and grippy so that when you apply your foundation on everything will just like blend in together so we're just gonna let that stay there my hair is still doing its thing still have so much to do god okay we're gonna take the sky it's our foundation this is the tarte brain force of the sea water foundation i quite like it it's really good for the winter because it's a water-based foundation if you have dry skin highly recommend i have like combination skin but i like being dewy i like being looking glowy and healthy so i'm just gonna 
grab a few pumps of that. It is a little darker than uh, I think I am, and I'm just gonna put it on here. There you go, that's literally all I need. That's even too much. I think this is a little dark for me right now, but like, I'm wearing a turtleneck. No one needs to know. It looks a little dark. Oh well. I like to use a sponge again, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just grab my finger and dot it. I don't like putting foundation on my nose. I don't know if anyone else is the same as me, but I just don't like that. And then I grab my sponge and I just kind of bop, bounce it, bounce, 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 bounce. I like starting with a light layer of foundation first to kind of just even out the skin tone. And then if I do need some more foundation, I'll concentrate it on parts that need a little bit more coverage. Um, I'd rather do like a light layer of foundation and then do concealer and spot conceal instead of wearing like a really thick layer of foundation. That's just my personal choice, but you do you boo, whatever you want to do. So as you can see, my skin looks pretty damn even, to be honest. But there is a few bumps, a few little things I want to go over one more time. So I'm literally just picking up a little bit of foundation on my beauty blender and just concentrating on those parts that I need a little bit more coverage. It's just like my cheeks here because I have some discoloration and the pimple and stuff. And then I like to go over my face once again just with my beauty sponge just to pick up any of the excess product that, you know, might have not blown it super well. My concealer, right now I'm using this Wet n Wild concealer in Medium Pawnee. I'm just trying to finish it, honestly. Not my favorite. I really want to try the Kosas concealer because it's hydrating and it's good for your skin. And I'm honestly just going over any spot concealing that we just need. Spot concealing. You can either grab like a little brush and go over. I like using my sponge because it picks up extra product and it just kind of like blends it in quite well actually. That's not bad. I don't know, the lighting, I'm so sorry, my bathroom lighting is not the best, but... Now with this one, it is, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of product and then just kind of tap it in with my finger just because it is a little bit of a pimple, so I do want some of that coverage. And I'm just gonna let it be. See, perfect, beautiful, easy, breezy, beautiful. Not cover girl. I'm using right now the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I'm just trying to finish it. Not my favorite. My favorite powder is probably the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Flawless Finish. Is that what it's called? Beautiful powder, but it's expensive. I have a little bit, like a little bit, tiny little bit of this. Trying to finish that up. So I'm just gonna honestly just around the area that I just did it. Um, we are gonna, I forgot, maybe we should do with some under eye concealing before I do this. We're gonna grab the Glossier Stretch Concealer in G7. And I use my little freaking ring finger, warm up the product, like that. Then I go to my other ring finger, warm up the product. I try to use as little product under my eyes as possible because my eyes do crease, so. I use that and I'm just pushing it in, no, like tap, 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 no rubbing. See? And it barely looks like it put anything in there, but it is concealing a little bit of that darkness. After that, I'm gonna grab my silly little powder here and we're just gonna, not bake, we're just gonna powder, tap, tap, tap. Cause we're not, we don't wanna move that product so I'm not going for straight across, I'm just literally tapping to set that. I don't want to bake. I don't like baking. That's too much for me. I just don't like it. it. Takes too much time, too much product. I like doing this, so that's just me and using a little bit of that. Okay, there we go. I'm using a little bit on that little dot. Little things that I covered that I don't want to move. Perfect. See, tiny bit of powder. That's it. I like cream products. I'm a cream product kind of gal, so my favorite bronzer is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer and Baked. I grab a brush like that looks like this, kind of just go like that. And then we're, I don't really contour, we just kind of bronze contour the face, very natural, nothing crazy. But it does give a little bit of more definition, do you see that? Ah, we're not contouring, we're not doing anything crazy, but by just adding a little bit of bronzer to create a shadow 
it just slims the face down and it makes it look like I have a shape. It makes it look like I have beautiful cheekbones and that's all I want. We're just gonna do a little bit on the jaw to define our jawline a little bit. Again, nothing crazy. I just like to make sure that everything's blended. I don't like having that line. So that's gonna help out with that. This is my favorite thing. I like using it on days when I don't wear makeup, days that I do wear makeup, light makeup, full face of makeup, just Ah, this is amazing. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade 4 medium. Chef's kiss. Ah, oh, you can't really see that. Am I going to use a cream highlight today or not? I don't know. Actually, no. I'm going to use some freaking blush. We're going to use two Burst Bees ones. This one's like toasted cinnamon. This one, I don't know because I took off. The back thing. It's like the peach one. It's probably my fave. I've hit pan on it. It's really nice. I like this one though because it kind of warms up the skin. So I kind of use this as like a blush bronzer. It's really nice. So I, I'm gonna grab the toasted cinnamon one. That's it. the oh, darker sorry, and I'm just gonna put it on places where I kind of bronzed up the skin. It's just like this beautiful like cinnamon color that works really well with my skin tone. So I just added all over and hope for the best. Yeah, see? But then you take the peach one and use that as like a blush brush. So just to give ourselves a little bit more color here. Okay, I think that's a blush for today. And then we're gonna use Mirame. Mirame by, what is this from? Where's this from? Dose of Color. And now we're just going to grab a fan brush, kind of grab a little bit of this. Oh, that's beautiful. Love this shit. Love all this. I also just forgot to do my mascara completely. Just like didn't put on what, I don't know what's going on right now. Okay, I like doing my face before I do anything on my eyes because I want to set it. I'm using my favorite sunning spray at the moment, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Air brush what the heck is happening do i have to go like that this guy yeah it's really good it's real good because before we do our eyes That's done. Next thing we're gonna do eyelashes. I don't put mascara on. I'm on the mood. I mean, I don't want to put eyeshadow on. I'm only gonna put on mascara. I'm gonna curl my lashes, and I'm using the Marc Jacobs. The Marc Jacobs. There we go. Primer, and then we're gonna use the Marc Jacobs. Uh, what's this called? Eyelash mascara. Okay. All right. We're gonna apply some of this lash primer. It's like a creamy color. Can you see? Why is it? Oh, God. There we go. Okay, we're gonna let that just chill for a bit. While that happens, I'm gonna put stuff away and get it organized. And I shall be back. Um, I forgot to film me doing my top lashes. I'm honestly not the best person on mascara. I blame it on the fact that I had lash extensions for a really long time and a long period of my life that I did never have to wear mascara. And now that I don't, it's just really hard to get back into that good swing of a pinka mascara love any tips or tricks to help me be a better mascara applicator person Ugh, look at this fucking lie oh my god idiot okay now this is my favorite inner corner highlight and it's so cheap and from the drugstore it's the wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder in Golden Flower Crown, and honestly, I only use this in my inner corners. I pick it on my finger, just kind of do that. I also got mascara on my contact lens, so that's a win for all of us today. Really, really happy with that. Honestly, sometimes I put on makeup and I'm like, is this the first time you're putting on makeup, Laura? Like, what are you doing? Waiting for that, I'm gonna go grab an eye lip because I need something to do with this lip thing situation, not a fan. I am back with the lip choice. Um, as a lip primer, I've been using this O'Keefe's Lip Repair because it's very dry. 
So I feel like it's the perfect lip balm to put under any sort of lipstick. This is my favorite lip liner, can you tell? Look how small this is. It's by Milani in the color 04. I don't even know what color this is. All I know is that it's a 04 on it and it's this small and it's the best. It's the best for me, it's like my lip color better. I find like nudes are really personal because it should be based on your skin tone or lip color. You know like for me a nude like freaking, I don't know if you're white and you know a white person's gonna have a different nude versus me, you know what I mean? I can't wear white people colors, I'm not white. I think lips really just finished everything. I like to line my lips and then fill them in with this pencil. Okay, the look has been finished. Now we're gonna do the rest of the hair. Before we use our lovely, lovely little diffuser, I am gonna grab this Debacur Light Defining Gel. I'm gonna use a little bit more than that. I don't really like using a lot of this, but your girl doesn't wanna wash her hair in two days, so. And we're just gonna crunch up the hair, literally. Just crunch, 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 crunch. Now, the worst part is we pray and we pray here so that the hair doesn't become all frizzy. Crunch, 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 crunch. One eternity later. I also don't like that this one, because I'm using my travel size hair dryer, it doesn't have a cool setting. So I'm using hot air, so I feel like it makes it frizzier. This is how it's gonna go. It is almost completely dry, but not quite. It is definitely gonna go a little bit more puffy as it dries. Gonna get shorter. I just, I think I'm gonna let it be at this point. 